Square ball, Wiley, top of the 18, drives, shoots, score! And the Peachtree Press generates the 1 0 lead. Welcome back to the ATT countdown to kickoff, and Atlanta United flying out of the gate so far in 2023. Best start in club history, seven points through three games. And that was punctuated with a big 3-0 win in Charlotte last Saturday. Over a thousand 17s made the trip up I-85, and they were treated to quite the show as Atlanta United scored two goals in the first 12 minutes to jump out on top against Charlotte. Now look, Charlotte grew into the match as the first half went on. They did have some opportunities. But the third goal, that put the game away before halftime. Last week, Gonzalo Pineda talked about how much he loves getting the clean sheet, and his team delivered. It was Pineda's 50th match in charge of Atlanta United. The clean sheet meant a lot, not just to the players on the field, but also to their manager, Gonzalo Pineda. This was a match, too, that highlighted the importance of Atlanta United's academy. In a game where Caleb Wiley is your man of the match with two goals and an assist, a Johnny Fortune made his Major League Soccer debut in the afternoon. Don't be surprised if a Johnny Fortune continues to earn more playing time as the season goes on. We can't leave Charlotte without talking about the day that Caleb Wiley had. Great opening goal. Wiley made a good run down the left. Almada found him. But then Wiley really put the game away with his second goal, the third for the team, to end the half. And the composure from him in that moment to slot it home, didn't go for power, went for placement. Caleb Wiley, such a mature player at his age. All these games with the Atlanta United Academy, with Atlanta United 2, and now with the five strike. The Portland Timbers come to town one and two in the 2023 season, and it's been a struggle so far. Injuries have really decimated the Timbers in a number of positions. They've kind of tailed off a little bit after getting the opening match win against Sporting Kansas City, a match that got delayed by a couple of days. They fell behind 3-0 in Los Angeles to LAFC, did climb back to make that 3-2 and give LAFC a scare late. But against St. Louis, who is now 3-0 out in the Western Conference, Portland scored first, but couldn't make it hold up at home at Providence Park, gave up two goals and ended up losing to the expansion team 2-1. There has rarely been much to separate these two teams when they've met throughout history. It's been five games so far between them. Atlanta United has won two of those. Two have been draws, and Portland won last time out at Providence Park last season. But we can't talk about the series history with the Portland Timbers without talking about the 2018 MLS Cup that Atlanta United hosted and won. A night that all of us with the club, all of the fans in Atlanta, all of the 17s will always remember. Portland and Atlanta meet at 7.30 on Saturday night. You can watch the game on Apple TV's MLS Season Pass in both English and Spanish. You can also choose to listen to the home radio option. Mike Conti and me will have that call for you. We'll have our Five Stripes countdown to get the night started at 7 p.m. You can listen on 92.9 The Game and on the Odyssey app. Spanish language radio in the Atlanta area, you can listen on La Mejor. Portland Timbers will come to town on Saturday and try to make life difficult for an Atlanta United side in great form. Portland will be trying to bounce back after back-to-back -back losses. Thanks for hanging out with us on the AT&T Countdown to Kickoff. We'll be back with you next week as the Five Stripes prepare to head to Ohio and Columbus.